You know my first guest from her work in Crazy Rich Asians and The Farewell. Now she's voicing a character in the new Disney movie Raya and The Last Dragon, which is in theaters and available with premiere access on Disney Plus starting March 5th. Here is Aquafina. Ah, hey. Aqu it is, hey. it's so great to see you. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, you have a lot going on that I want to talk about. Um, uh, first off, you were you were born and raised in Queens. You spent most of the past year on the other side of the world in Australia. Uh, you were yes. out there working on a new Marvel movie. Um, yes. Now, wh wh what was it like, first of all, being in a foreign country in the, in the middle of a global pandemic? Um, uh, a, l a little discombobulating, I think. Yeah. You know, um, the way that they did quarantine there is like, you know, they they bring you meals and stuff, and there would be a nurse that would call and... Uh, you really? know, for like, I guess, mental health checkups. And, and she would call and be like, how's your day going? And I'd be like, in the beginning, I was like, you know, it's fine. I, I, I gotta go. But then like a couple of days go by and I'm just like, you know what? It's, I'm not too, it's not Do you have good. a couple of minutes? Yeah, you're like, too, yeah. like now that <laughs> I like, have you. Um, it's, anyway, it's have you- service. Seen... Let's take advantage of the service, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah. yeah. Are you watching any of the reality shows on Bravo? <laughs> uh, you start like, talking to her. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, and it's like 90 day, man. I need it's company, crazy. I need people, I need friends, I need something, yeah. <laughs> You're finally back home to New York City for the first time. Uh, yes. Uh, is this that's this, is that the longest you've ever been away from New York? This is the longest I've ever been away. Yeah, for sure. I, I know you also missed your grandmother. Uh, she still lives in New York, and you've you called her your best friend. Uh, I was just yeah. curious. Um, does she also consider you to be her best friend? Um, she, I think she considers a lot of people to be her best friend. Like, I think, you know, I think she's definitely told the, the delivery guy, like, yeah, you, you know, he, you're my best friend. No. And then I'll, and then I, yeah, she's loose with it. She's loose with the, <laughs> she's one of those people that, that she'll just call anyone, any She friend. just throws she's it like, out there? Yeah, I don't know if that's like a best friend. I feel like more time and, you know, maybe like, <laughs> you know, maybe like your granddaughter, maybe that, that could be like a best friendship. I want her to be your best friend. She, you could definitely be your best friend. I don't think she would at all have any reservations. <laughs> Hi, you Grandma. Especially. Yeah, yeah, call me out. I'm down to be besties. Um, yeah. You, you got to do something very cool uh, recently, an honor for any New Yorker. Uh, at what, you became the official voice of the 7 train here in New York City for a while. Yeah. That had to be exciting. Uh, you, also, you, you also put your own spin on the subway announcements. Oh. Uh, I'll show yes. you what I mean. Here, here's one of them. This is Vernon Boulevard, Jackson Avenue. Hey, fellas, stop manspreading. Thanks and have a great day. <laughs> uh, we have one more. Here's another one. Oh, this no. is 82nd Street, Jackson Heights. <laughs> and please remember, a train car is the worst place to clip your toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, first of all, how, how excited? This is a major deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was awesome. I think it was uh, the first time... Uh, the MTA had someone like voice the announcements in, in like the, all of NBA history. I think. I think. What, yeah. what kind of reaction did you get from people? Well, I think you know the first couple of weeks it was a, like a lot of excitement, especially from people who like actually knew who I was. You know, you'd be like, oh my god, you know, Aquafina's on the train. And then I think it devolved over a couple of weeks, and and especially during like peak rush hour in the morning and the night. I mean, you know, the the evening. Yeah. I'd get a lot of like you know, no one asked for this. And it's like, this is the last thing I want to hear on like, the, on like a horrible commute home. Uh, so eventually I was just like, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, uh, you know, I, I, I felt bad. No way. <laughs> People love that. It. It's funny. It's so cool. Good. Good. <laughs> I want to talk about your new Disney movie. Uh, uh, another Disney movie. Um, this one's called Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, can you set up the movie and tell us about the character? Yeah, uh, so the movie is it's a very special movie that I, I really haven't seen anything like it. It's it's a uh, it's it's an adventure uh, th throughout the movie throughout this kind of uh, broken land uh, called Kumandra, and, and there are these universal truths, kind of like of, of trust and and unity and divisiveness that um, since the very beginning, since I was involved, always seemed to kind of ring true. And uh, obviously, Raya, our, our, our uh, first. Southeast Asian Disney princess is voiced by Kelly Marie Tran, and I play the last dragon, Sisu, and and we kind of uh, team up to to go to go on this uh, journey throughout Kumandra to to try and fix it. You're also starring in another Disney movie very soon. I am so excited about this: the remake of The Little Mermaid. Uh, yeah. You're the voice of Scuttle. Yes, yes. This is yeah. bizarre. Yeah. We have a picture of you as a little kid. Look at this. <laughs> 
Oh, man. <laughs> First of all, the cutest thing ever. Second of all, you're wearing a Little Mermaid shirt. It, wh yep. it, what would you have said uh, if someone told that kid, hey, one day you're going to actually be in the Little Mermaid? Um, I mean, if, I think if you went up to that kid and you were like, kid, you need to be a little mermaid. Uh, I think I would have called the cops, to be honest. <laughs> like, who does that, you know? Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> I just, true. I feel like they should keep it, keep it in for a little while longer. <laughs> I'm from the future. And you're going to be in a, the movie. Like, hey, okay. kid, come here. Come here to this bush. <laughs> I have, like, oh I have, like. <laughs> bush, oh, my uh, gosh. Yeah. Hey, uh, but, you know, I, I, I think that kid really would not have believed it um that's so cool you know, that was such a yeah it was such an iconic movie growing up for me you know that all the disney movies were so you know to know that i could i could be in it, especially a reprisal of like my my favorite one yeah uh crazy well we can't wait for that and congrats on raya and the last dragon thank you sisu Thanks. i love it uh, i want to show everyone a clip here is aquafina as sisu in raya and the last dragon take a look oh oh i'm sorry and i didn't see you there <laughs> not too bad just a little dusty let me get that for you <laughs> You are Shizu. And you're people. What's your name? Raya. I, I'm Raya. And you're not made of stone, which means... Yeah, it worked! We did it! You hear that, Pengu? It worked! I didn't mess it up! Is that food? Oh. I was so focused on saving the world, I forgot to have breakfast today. Aquafina, everybody, Raya and the Last Dragon is in theaters and available on Disney Plus with premiere access starting March 5th. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on.